Hello everybody, welcome to episode number two of Draw with Mark, and uh, today we're actually going to be drawing a uh, mug, a coffee mug or a hot chocolate mug, uh, whatever the case may be. It could, you could put anything in there you'd like, but we're going to do some basic uh, cup work today, and uh, the reason for that is because we're going to learn how to do some circles today, and that's part of the mug that we're going to be drawing is a nice couple of circles in there. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, our pencil. Today is a 3B, which is nice soft lead. That's the ones I like to use the most. And uh, we're going to get started drawing our little mug here. So let's start roughly off to the side of the page, maybe over here, not so much in the middle. Let's do it over here a little bit on the side. And we're going to start by just drawing a very simple circular oval shape. And see how I'm just sketching lightly? Just lightly. Just keep going around in circles until you get it the way you like it. Just like that. Very light. I'm going to go back and darken it shortly, but right now we're going to keep it a little bit light. So there's the top of our mug right there. Secondly, we're going to have to do the sides of the mug, which are going to kind of come down through here. So follow over here to the very far end of this little circle you made, oval, and shoot a line down like this. Just a simple line. Same thing on this side. Shoot a line down just like this. So we're basically forming the mug shape right now. And what we're going to do is at the bottom of this line, right about here, the bottom of these two lines I should say, we're going to do another shape just like this one right here, this nice bottom of the oval shape. We're going to do it right down here at the bottom. So take your pencil and gently sketch in a nice bottom of the oval shape. Very similar to this shape right here. You should now have what looks like, it almost looks like a paint can right now without any paint in it, but that's pretty good. That's the shape I'm looking for. Again, we're gonna go back over and do some darkening and we're gonna put some stuff in the cup shortly, but we're just building our cup a little bit at a time. So next, we are going to add the holder right on the side, you know where you grab the mug. So we're gonna add that. We're going to basically draw the letter C, but we're going to draw it backwards. So we're going to draw a letter C right in here. Sketch. So let's just do a gentle little C in here. Just like this. And that begins to form the side of the cup where you grab onto it. So let's do our C. And that's looking pretty good. You just have to come over a little bit. See where I'm ending it? Past this line right about here. And then we're going to do the same thing, another letter C, right about here, right below it. A little bit smaller, but we're going to start about here. And we're going to do the same letter C right through here. So when you're done, you should have two backwards letter C's, a small one and a large one. And they should all end at about the same spot. You can see where they all end here. And again, it's a little bit light right now. We're going to go back and darken that shortly. What I do want to do here is I want to remove this line that kind of comes down through because that technically wouldn't be there. So we're just going to use our handy dandy eraser and just take out that little intersecting line there. The reason being is because this holder is kind of coming forth a little bit, coming toward you. So we're going to hide the back there by just erasing those two lines pretty simply. And from here, a couple ways you could finish off these little, the little handle here. You could just do a simple little one of these guys, a little half circle on the bottom of this one. And that kind of makes it where it's adhered right to the, uh, the mug. And you could do the same thing down below on this one here. A little half circle. And that kind of completes that part of the mug. That's the little holder, the handle. So now we have our handle in there. Pretty easy. Very, very easy so far. And then we're going to start thinking about putting some liquid in here. And we're going to go back and darken all this up. But I think for the first part, let's, uh, let's add some liquid in here. It could be coffee or tea or hot chocolate. But I'm going to start right about here. And I'm going to echo this line right here. See that line right there? Very similar to this one up here. And this is going to be our liquid in there. So at this point, now that we've got all that, I think I can go back and kind of darken some things up a little bit obviously so you guys can see it a little bit better, but just because it'll look more like there's some depth happening here. So let's start with our first line and really go over it. A little more pressure this time. 
You can see how dark that's becoming. Same thing on the bottom. Let's darken that right up. Nice and dark. Just go back over it a few times with your pencil. A little bit of pressure on there. Same thing here. Look where I'm stopping. I'm not drawing through. I'm just doing this part here and this part here. Nice and dark. I'm going to do my little handle. Nice and dark. Nice amount of pressure on there. And the same thing here. We're going to darken this one up too. Nice and dark. Just like that. And I'm not connecting these two lines because it kind of, if you look at a real mug, they don't really connect like that. We're just kind of tricking the eye into thinking that's part of that. So that's what we're doing there. Now, we're going to also darken up our lines up here. The back of the mug, nice and dark. Just like that. Let's darken up the inside of the mug here. Nice and dark. Just going over it. You see how I'm kind of sketching and drawing at the same time. I'm putting a little pressure on there to get these lines nice and dark. And let's darken up uh, the coffee as well. Or the tea or whatever you want to have in there. Hot chocolate. If it's winter time near you, you probably want to have hot chocolate in there. And uh, now that we've got all these lines nice and dark, I can start to do some shading and some filling in. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll fill in this liquid right here. Keeping in mind, there's probably going to be a little bit of light shining, you know, maybe down. There's a light over the kitchen that kind of shines down. So let's just draw a little circle right here. So I'm not going to fill that in. Maybe two circles, a little smaller one. So we're not going to fill those in, but we're going to fill the rest of this in with the side of our pencil. Again, this is a nice uh, 3B pencil, so we can fill in very quickly just using the side of the pencil. Just go back and forth with your lines. Just kind of cross over a little bit and you'll feel like those things fill right in real nice. Not the circles. I don't want to fill those in. So I want to kind of leave those out. So I can really fill these guys in over here. Going right around my circles. Just like that. And just like in episode one, when I get closer to the edges of things, I like to make them darker. So way over here where this little corner is, I like to really make that dark. And I want to work outwards. And then I want to get a little bit lighter as I go out. So dark, a little bit of lighter, a little bit of lighter, and it kind of trails off. That just makes it look a little more 3D depth-wise. Same thing on this corner. I pick the corner. Fill in that corner like this, and you're going to work your way out. A little bit lighter, a little bit lighter, a little bit lighter. Keep away from those circles. Those are our light sources. They're kind of bouncing in there. And I can just fill these lines in a little bit. And you can start to see the depth that really happens when you start making these lines darker and darker. Don't forget, too, we're going to have some shading over here. Let's, let's just pick the middle of the mug right about here and draw a little light line right about there. Because what I want to do is I want to start shading gently right over here from the corner. And look at these lines I'm making. I'm making kind of lines up and down. But I'm making them very close together. Very light. Just like this. Very light. Takes a lot of practice, but you'll get it. And then as I get to my middle line here, I can make the lines kind of trail off. And I can go back and do that again over top. A little bit darker. And this is where you're going to really need to practice this. Shading is very tough for people. You've got to do it over and over again. You'll start to get it as you do it enough. It'll start to look more natural as you do it enough. So there's a little bit of shading in there. And if you want to get bold, you can kind of go this way as well. That definitely will darken it up quite a bit in there. Not too dark. We don't want it darker than the liquid. The liquid's got to be pretty dark because, like I said, this could be coffee. could be... Uh, some dark tea or some hot chocolate in there. So let's just do that. So now we have a pretty good indication of, of the, the liquid in there. And uh, we can start by also putting some shading over here on the side of the cup. So typically when I look at a mug, I usually see a kind of a shade line. It kind of does this. So what we're doing is we're just drawing a nice light line, almost like a letter C, kind of from the middle down to about the first quarter of the bottom. So you have this kind of nice gentle line here. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically work on our shading again. Nice and light. Barely touching that page. 
just barely touching that page. Just a series of lines, sketched lines. I fill all this in nice and gently. And here's a trick too, you can use your finger and just gently rub over it like this. And what that does is it just blends everything. Obviously you're going to have a dark finger when you're done, but that's the cost of doing business sometimes. So you could just do that there. And if you feel like this line here that you drew is a little bit too dark, you could just erase it right out. Just give it a gentle erase, just so it's not so harsh. Kind of makes it look a little more realistic that way. And then you can do some more blending. Because again, the, the more you put over here on this side, if we put a little bit more over here, just a little bit, we can use our finger to blend that over. So we're just, we're just adding layers. Layers of blending is what it is. So you do a little bit, you blend a little bit. You do a little bit, you blend a little bit. And I always work from the corners, because that's usually where the darkness is, over in the corners. So it's just a lot of that, just adding and adding and adding. You can always take away, but you gotta add as you go. So there's the, there's the side of our coffee cup over there. Let's work on shading this guy a little bit over here. Uh, normally on something like this, you're gonna probably have a gentle line Kind of going like this. You're almost drawing another C, reverse C, I should say, backwards C, just like we did earlier. And it's going to go all the way around. It's just a light line, just a light, it's almost like a guideline. And what we're going to do with that guideline is we are going to just give that a little bit of sketching, a little bit of fill, just like we've been doing. This gives a little bit of depth on that handle just to make it look a little more rounded. So you're just gonna sketch it all the way around. You're gonna follow your guideline. Follow it in, fill it in. So that's our horizon line. Darken it right up, right like that. Nice and dark. And then uh, we can put some, sh some shading on that line too. Just gentle back and forth, gentle. Just gentle, long lines. Lots of practice on those. Gentle, long lines. Not too hard. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And sometimes when you change directions of these lines, these long lines, you'll get different effects. It's kind of what's called cross-hatching. And it will fill up a lot more as you do that. So just do a little sideways sketch in there. Right away. And maybe we want to have our coffee cup have a little shadow on there too. What we're going to do there is we're just going to draw some guidelines right down here at the corner. Shoot a guideline and shoot one this way. Just two guidelines. And then we're just going to fill those in gently. A little bit of shading in there. A little darker than the shading that's around it. So it really sets it off. And I can go back and forth like this. I'm almost making little half circles if you look. Just fill these right in here. Get really close to that guideline. Sketch that in, nice and dark, getting darker. Not too dark, just dark enough where it does look like it's casting a shadow. Okay, so there's our little shadow over there. And I can use my finger here to fill that in a little bit more. And maybe we want to make the bottom a little bit darker so that really looks like it's sitting on a table. Really dark, go really dark with that pencil. See how dark that makes it pop there? You could even put a little ring up here. Some of these coffee mugs have a dark ring. Almost to the edge there. Mine has like a red, a red band around it, so I'll just put a little red. Darken that right in. red paint that's if we had markers that's what that would look like maybe do some quick shading over on this side here just a little bit and let's open up this little this little line here or this little uh, light source let's just erase it to really bring that white back sometimes when you're running over it with your hand it kind of makes the uh, lead from the pencil cover it back up again and then it's just going back and just playing around a little bit, you know, just filling in some of these little curves, getting confident about your shading and figuring out where you want it to be a little bit darker. 
And then maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe you want to put a little sugar bowl or a, a little uh, creamer bowl over here. So let's move over here and let's just sketch in a little creamer bowl for your coffee. So basically that's just going to be the same shape. It's a circle. There's the top of it. And maybe it comes down like this and like this. And then maybe it comes down, it almost looks like a little pitcher, like a water pitcher. So that's a very basic shape right there. It's almost like an, could be like an S. Same thing over here. We're just gonna do the same exact line right on this side. There's our little creamer bowl. Now, obviously you're gonna see what the problem is there. We have a horizon line cutting right through the middle of it. That's not gonna work. We probably should have done this earlier but that's okay because we have an eraser. So we're gonna use our trusty eraser and just erase out all that horizon line, just like so. And because I drew that line so dark, you can kind of still see it here. So let's think about that for the future. Let's try to sketch all these things in first before we decide to go back later because that's unfortunately what you're gonna get, but that's okay. I'm just gonna get all this out. And then I will go back and just do some darkening, just like we did on the coffee mug. Really nice and dark around your circles. You'll notice I didn't bring this bottom circle all the way around, but I'm gonna bring this top one all the way around, like that. Maybe around the back like this. That gives it the little ring around the top. We can sketch in our milk, which would be right about there. And then we're going to finish the edges, nice and sharp and dark. Lots of pressure, lots of pressure coming down. And you'll see why it's important to sketch this stuff out because you're not ready to do these dark lines until you're comfortable with the sketch lines. Once you get your sketch lines in there, you can come back and do these dark, bold lines. It just makes it easier. So let's do some of the same shading that we did earlier, which is just up and down, dark at the edges, fades out as we get about to the middle of this little uh, creamer bowl. A little dark again around the edges. Maybe do some cross hatching side by sides. There's our milk in there. And then you're gonna have some shading around these little points here where these little curves kind of come down. So let's just fill those in a little bit. Like that. The same thing over here like this. Fill these little corners in. Down, down, down. There we go making me want a cup of coffee already, I know that. Right around these corners, let's darken these guys up a little bit, put some shading in there, just light shading, just like this. There we go. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did earlier. We're gonna kind of find a point, let's pretend that this line came through here, and let's say we want our bowl to be shaded kind of like this, kind of like we did with the coffee mug. So we're gonna draw a gentle line, and we're gonna start our shading, sideways lines like this. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Sketching, not drawing. You're sketching, you're filling in gently. There you go, look at that. Now if you wanna go up and down as well, you may. That kinda of fills it in a little bit more. A little bit of cross hatching. And then you can use your finger. Really blend all that together. Get rid of some of those cross hatching lines. Maybe fill this little line in a little bit up here. Same thing down below. We're gonna to wanna to make our bottom nice and dark. Maybe throw a little shadow line on there again, like our coffee mug. And then we're basically gonna fill that all back in, just like the mug, sideways. Nice and easy at first. Use your fingers, kind of blend it in a little bit. Nice and dark around that bottom because that's where the shadow is really going to be down here. Nice and dark. And there's our little creamer bowl. Now you can start going back and playing with the background a little bit, maybe filling in some more detail, some more darks over here. Got our milk in there. Oh, how about some, uh, let's do some lines to indicate that there's heat coming off the coffee, a little steam. So basically we're gonna start right about, let's say here's the middle of the coffee cup. Let's start over here a little bit. 
And let's just draw a simple shape. Kind of looks like a squiggle line here a little bit. Gentle. Could be kind of an S shape if you want to go that route. And then up here, I'm going to make it a little bit longer. And I'm going to have it come back on itself. And these are lines you need to practice. You don't get these the first time. It's going to take you a few times to get those kind of lines. And let's maybe do one right next to it too. A little smaller this time. Same kind of line. Little S lines. And they're going to go right down into the cup. And for those, I also want to erase these parts and pieces here because the steam would be kind of going in front of that stuff. So let's take those lines out. So we just have these nice little steam lines. And you can even bring them if you want to get fancy. You can go all the way down into the coffee itself. You're just using your eraser to go down in there like that. Okay, just lighten these up, darken them up a little bit. And then you got a couple little steam lines on there. And you might even want to put a little logo or something on the side of the cup. Let's say we want to do a, I don't know, a quick smiley face. Quick circle. It's going to be a happy morning, so we'll have a happy face to start our day. So let's sketch out a quick circle. Like so. Let's do two happy circle eyes, which are kind of like this. And you know that smiley face. It has these little lines. And he kind of does this. And that. And the smile is usually a little bit bigger on the bottom. So there's our happy face sketched in. We got to give it some pressure from our pencil to fill it in a little bit. Just like this. Get those eyes nice and dark. You know these are usually on yellow t-shirts. You've seen a million of them. The smiley face. Let's do him right here. This eye over here, I kind of rushed that one a little bit, a little out of whack, but you get the point. And then we'll darken in our little smile here, give it a little thicker on the bottom, maybe darken this outside a little bit up, and now we have a decal right there on the side of our coffee cup, a little smiley face decal. You can throw some shading in there if you want to and play around with that. Getting that cup a little darker on one side maybe. Use your finger in there and that's pretty much it. That is your coffee cup. Hot chocolate cup in a nutshell. For the most part. Let's get some darkness down here going on a little bit. Really blend that all together. And the sky's the limit. I mean that's pretty much it. That was from nothing, we have this cool little coffee cup. We have some steam lines up here. A little thing of milk to go along with it. And that's a good start right there to uh, learn how to do some circles and some ovals, things like that. So I hope you had a good time and uh, we will see you next time.